A bottle wall is a wall made out of bottle bricks. Those bricks are made out of two bottom parts of glass bottles that are cut off with a saw and then glued together using duct tape. The bottle bricks are then used as building blocks in a wall and can be arranged by color to create shapes or patterns. They are often used in buildings made out of recycled materials and eco buildings and are a trademark of earth ships around the world. Bottle bricks are made from two bottles with about the same diameter with at least one white one so the light can pass through. I wanted to create my first bottle wall in a way that it could be moved until the right permanent place for it would be found and in a size that would be fit that would fit the small south window so the sun would shine through it and into the living room. So I made a wooden frame and mapped out the picture I wanted it to show, counting the amount of bottles that I would need to create it. Then I went into the town with a lasso on a stick that allowed me to get the bottles I wanted out of the glass containers. After I had the bottles, I had them sorted and started cutting the bottom parts off using a tiled saw that was water cooled. It wasn't the perfect saw blade for cutting glass bottles, but it worked good enough. Und das Wasser schwimmt. Wunderbar. Und geht los. After cutting the bottles, I had a big pile of cut glass bottles and my bottle brick parts left over. You have to make sure to have the right amount of cut bottles of each of the colors you wanted. You also have to make sure to cut the glass bottles to the exact length that you want so two of them add up to the wall thickness that you want your glass bottle wall to be at. The next step is washing all the brick parts, removing all the small glass pieces and drying them in the sun. You have to make sure that they are really dry, otherwise you will get condensation water inside the bottle bricks. After they were really dry, I started looking for matching parts and started making the bottle bricks using the duct tape. After I had made a bunch I started laying them out in the wood frame in the way I had planned and after I had the bricks all done the shape started to look like the one in my initial plan. Then I made the mortar and carefully filled up the leftover space between the bricks. I made sure the bricks kept in contact with the ground so the mortar could not get under them. After I was done filling the mortar in, I used a sponge to clean the top end of the bricks and make a good looking surface. For the next 24 hours I tried to keep the concrete wet so it could harden and after I was sure 
that I could turn it up without destroying it, I turned the mold on the side so I was able to clean the other side before the mortar was too hard. To be able to turn the frame over you need to make sure to have a rigid panel under it. After that I kept it wet for another day and a few days later we moved the finished wall to the not permanent place that it was made for. In the end I'm really happy about the result. I love the way it looks and I love the way the sun was shining through it every, every morning into the living room. It was a lot of work getting the bottles, cutting the bottles, washing the bottles, arranging them and uh, the concrete work but it's a permanent wall that was uh, made for pretty much zero uh, production cost and it's looking really pretty so I'm really looking forward to building my next bottle wall.